past year is one of the toughest years I've had in my life. Um, the sport of hockey and, and in just my personal life, I had a couple concussions that were uh, pretty serious and still kind of feel the effects of them uh, here today. But the um, thing that I've learned, and I think the reason I went through these is, is to learn something. I know God has a plan, and sometimes when you're in the moment, you don't see that plan. But looking back, uh, you can definitely see his hand at work. And what I've learned, a few verses that have helped me out through this, and have really cleared it up and made me realize why I went through this. One is 2 Corinthians 12.9. It says, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And it, I think that was, that was huge for me to hear that because sometimes, you know, when everything's going, going all right, um, you tend to push God to the side thinking that everything's going all right because you made it all right. And that's a, that's a bad place to be in. You know, that, that's, um, you, you get pretty selfish and, and you think that, you're, you're the reason for your success and God can only work through you when you are humbled and when and then when you feel like you have nothing else to lean on and that's when God does his best work and, and the rest of the verse um, goes on to say and, and I love this because um, you know it talks about boasting in our weaknesses and how often do we do that we, we never do that we boast in our strengths we boast in our powers we boast about what we've done and how much better we are than than other people so it says therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness so that Christ's power may rest on me and that was good to hear knowing that if I come back from this it's Christ's power it's not my own you know it's it's his weak it's my weakness that brings me out of it because that's where God's hand can work and you know that God's power is the only thing that can bring you out of it that is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, and in insults, and in hardships, and persecutions, and difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And, and it says we delight in weakness. You know, I don't think many people do that, but again, like I said, when you delight in that, that's because God's getting the power, not yourself. And difficulties, this was this very difficult year, and, and to, I guess, look back and see kind of Christ bring me out of this that, that that's powerful that's special you know that's a relationship him, him his hand working uh, for when I am weak then I am strong and, that, and that's what I'm, I'm realizing through this whole thing so and that and then just one other verse um, you know the Bible says it best is uh, Isaiah 40 and you know all through hockey you know we're, we're always tired we're always wanting more rest and this verse just kind of talks about, um, you know, renewing your strength every day. I mean, every day is, is hard. It's a battle to, to get in there, to practice, to have games. Um, and, and this one really kind of just eases your mind a little bit. It says, do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator.